Let's take a look at the back first of all. Look at the front, oh wow. That looks really different, right? All right, we'll talk about the front in a moment, but the back. The first major thing that you can tell at the top is the fact that the camera is now vertical as opposed to horizontal. But let's take a look at the back first of all. Look at the front, oh wow. That looks really different, right? All right, we'll talk about the front in a moment, but the back. The first major thing that you can tell at the top is the fact that the camera is now vertical as opposed to horizontal. Where's my iPhone 7? Plus. Here, there we go. There's my current the iPhone, one, the iPhone 7 Plus. You can see that the units. camera so that arrangement is different. The and also, is the uh, on the current iteration of the iPhone, you have the this. LED flash appears here, to be whereas metal, on the new one, it's uh, kind of embedded within this camera unit. So that's one major difference. The second thing is the actual kind of look and material of this. This appears to be, I mean, this is a metal... Um, prototype the back almost looks and feels like it might be made out of glass which again ties in with some of the rumors about the back being made out of glass as opposed to the current kind of aluminium that we find on the iPhone 7 and 7 plus which I hope really isn't the case it does look nice but to be honest with you I hope this isn't the case because that's going to be a a problem you know if you drop this you can imagine I mean I had tons of issues with my iPhone 4 and 4s um, if you end up dropping this then this is gonna shatter very very easily so we'll have to wait and see if that's the case it does look nice it does look nice indeed now another thing to notice which I've just noticed now is the edge on this particular model is actually some kind of metal or chrome look which I don't know, it looks a bit tacky if I'm being honest. It does look a bit kind of cheap and tacky. Yeah, I hope that's not the case. Now I purposely got the white color because um, there are a couple of prototype models that are in the darker color knocking around. I didn't want to get that because I, I, they don't really show up very well on camera and I'm glad I got the, uh, the lighter version because you can see the details a lot clearer on camera. Um, all right, well another thing about the back, we have no uh, fingerprint sensor on the back. Now some of the earlier prototypes, again the ones that are knocking around on, on online and some YouTubers have focused on that, have a fingerprint scanner on the back. This one doesn't. So we're gonna have to see how Apple are gonna deal with the fingerprint scanner situation. Um, on the side we've got the volume rocker, we've got the vibrate switch button here, which obviously because this is not a working unit does do, doesn't do anything. Um, on the other side over here we've got a power button. Now that power button actually looks longer than the current iPhone version. Let me just show you the current iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. That's the power button there. That is definitely a longer version, which is actually easier to kind of hit. Nothing on the top and then you have at the bottom, let me move this out of the way, nothing at the top, but at the bottom you've got the stereo speakers. Would we have stereo speakers at the top, like the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus? We'll have to wait and see. Um, and then you've got the lightning cable over there. Now, the front is, on this particular model, is really an updated front based on, again, rumors and leaks, but also the firmware related to the brand new, the upcoming HomePod, has pretty much confirmed that this is the kind of front screen that we're going to get. We're going to get this kind of unit at the top that has very interesting, not one, two, three, four, but yeah, so we're going to have what appears to be almost like two front cameras. 
what looks like a 